Okay, this will be a tutorial for two look megaming solo. However, as part of that, that means that it'll naturally cover all of the corner orientation cases. Um, so if you're interested in one look megaming solo, um, you can see this is an episode zero of sorts covering sets two, three, four, and five of that. Um, also, all of the ELGs that I mention here will be listed down in the description, as well as a link to my Megaminx ELGs document, which contains all of the OLL and PLL algorithms that I, you know, use and recommend. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. To look OLL is a two-step method for orienting the last layer of the Megaminx. The first step is edge orientation, or EO, where we take these five edges and orient them so they're all facing upwards, forming this sort of star. And the second step is corner orientation, or CO for short, where we take the five corner pieces and face them upwards, orienting all the pieces of the last layer. There are three EO cases and 16 CO cases, which might sound like a lot, um, especially if you're relatively new to cubing, but um, eight of them are cases that you probably know from 3x3, at least if you use 2 local OLL, um, and another sort of four, three or four of them are really easy to learn, like the eight moves or less. Um, so really in terms of you know properly new cases, they might be a bit challenging to learn, there's only five or so of them, um, which might still be a lot if you're relatively new to cubing, but I promise you, you can learn them um, and just you know stick with them. You'll figure them out and you'll be glad that you did. So yeah, what are the cases? These are the three EO cases on Megaminx. Um, they look a bit different from the three by three EO cases, but they're each equivalent to one of them. So this one on the left here, where we have two misoriented edges in the front and right, is the equivalent of this EO case on 3x3, where we have two misoriented edges in the front and right. So this looks like an L on 3x3, so I'll call it an L on Megaminx, even though it doesn't really look like one there. Um, this one in the middle here, where we have the misoriented edges in the front and back right, is the equivalent of this one here, the line case on 3x3. So again, it doesn't quite look like it, but I'll call it line on Megaminx. And this one on the right here is the equivalent of the dot case. So even though there's one edge oriented, we'll still call it a dot case. Um, so, we, they look a little different, but we can use basically the same algorithms that we would on 3x3. So for this one here, the uh, L case, we're going to hold the misoriented edges in the front and right, and do F, um, inverse sexy F prime. So that looks like this. Pull this with your right ring, that's how I do it anyway, and then pinch this F prime with your left index. So done fast. Um, for this line EO case, we're going to hold the, ed the misoriented edges in the front and back right. Um, on 3x3, you can do it from two angles, right? You can do it from either here or from here, and it works fine. On Megaminx, that's not true. So if we had it from this angle, it wouldn't work, right? So you need to do it from this angle. And then it's just F6, F prime, so like this. And the only really, I guess, interesting move is the uh, F prime that I do with my right thumb. So that looks like this. Now for this dot case, um, or yeah, dot case, um, on 3 3 people often do dot cases with a combination of um, the previous two EO cases, and on Megaminx you can do that, so like some people will do it from this angle, where they do F inverse X F prime, then AUF, and F6 F prime. Um, I don't think that's super fast, so what I would do instead, or I'd recommend instead, is this algorithm here. So R prime F prime, which you push with your right index, then u2 prime double flick, f2 with your right hand, and then r prime f prime r, u2 r. So the finger tricks are a little odd there, but it's a pretty fast algorithm. Like so. Okay, on to CO. So these are the three other four three corner cases on um, Megamix. Now these are all variations of soon, so just soon on 3x3, so if you know that algorithm, then these four should be really easy to learn, because this is soon, this is back soon, this is anti soon, and this is back anti soon. So this case here is literally the same as just soon on 3x3, so R, then I push U with my left hand, R prime U, R, U2 prime double flick, R prime. Like that. Then here we have back soon, so same thing, but um, just yeah from the back. So R prime, U prime, R, and then I pull U prime with this hand, 
Um, so it's sort of like a double flick, but disjointed. Um, so it's going to move in between. And then just R prime, U2, uh, U2 R. So like that. And then for the two anti zoom cases, so for this one, it's literally just anti zoom on 3 by 3. So R U2 R prime U prime R U prime R. So with uh, R prime. So with that double joint, disjointed double flick again. Like that. And then back anti zoom. So here it's just R prime U2 prime double flick. R U R prime. And then I drag this final U with my right hand. Like that. Okay, so these four cases here are the other ones that you probably basically already know from 3 by 3 And I say that because these two cases at the front are the equivalent of the H OLL on 3 by 3 right? This one that has two sets of headlights. And these two at the back here are the equivalent of the Pi OLL on 3 by 3 right? Um, where you've got one set of headlights, but these two are also misoriented. So we're going to use basically the same algorithms. Um, just, you know, adapt it to Mega Max. So... For this first one, it's literally just double zoom. So yeah, we've got two sets of headlights. We hold the oriented corner in the front left and do double zoom with the same finger trick as zoom that I showed before. So R, push U, R prime U, R, U prime, R prime U, R, U two prime, double flick, R prime. So that looks like that. For this case, we have one set of headlights and then these sort of disjointed headlights on adjacent sides, we're going to hold the oriented corner in the front left and do this. Um, well, okay, you, there's two options. First, you can do double anti-zoom like this, which is, I think, what most people do. Um, however, I prefer the algorithm from this angle, right, which is double back anti-zoom. So obviously it's best to use both of them, just depending on the angle, but if you're just going to choose one, I would recommend this one. So that's R prime, U2 prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, drag U, R. So fast, it's like that. Um, now we have these two pi cases. For both of these, we've got a set of headlights and then a set of sort of opposite facing corners, like that and that. Um, for the one on the left, if you hold the headlights on the left, you have the orange corner in the front. Whereas here, if you hold the headlights on the left, you've got the orange corner in the back. So that's how we tell them apart. Um, and we execute both of these cases with these opposite facing corners in the right. Yeah? So we're executing this one from here, and this one from here. Um, and they're both the pi case, that we, the pi algorithm that we use on 3 by 3 just mirrored for this one. Um, so for this case here, it's literally just the pi algorithm. So R U2, uh, U2 with your left index, um, which is a bit of an odd finger trick, but it'll be useful, especially for more of OLL later down the line. So I recommend getting good at it. And so R U2, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U prime with your left middle. So it's that disjointed double flick again. And then R2 prime, U2 double flick, R. So done fast. And then for this final Pi case, it's the inverse or the back mirror, depending on how you want to look at it. It's the same thing um, of the case that I just showed. So R prime, U2 prime double flick, R2 U, so pinch U, R2 prime, drag U, R2, U2 prime double flick, R prime. So done fast. Looks like that. Okay, these are the four two-corner OLLs, and although you probably won't know any of these cases, they're all super easy to learn. So this first one, where we have just one set of headlights, um, we hold it in the front and do this. R U R prime, U, then R U R prime again, then U two prime, and then search. Um, in terms of finger tricks, the only really noteworthy thing is that we do the second U with our right ring. Um, other than that, it's just standard finger tricks, Usual prime with the left hand and insert. And on fast looks like this. So yeah, super nice elk. 
for this one here, we have two adjacent uh, misoriented corners, but no headlights. Um, there's a number of different ways to do it from different angles and do different things. Um, I'll just show you the way that I do it, um, which is it's performed with F moves, R moves, and BR moves. So you can write it as FRB or like with an X prime rotation. I'll just tell you it FRB, but either way it works. Um, so what you do is R, BR, R prime, then F um, with our left thumb, then R, BR prime, R prime, then F prime with our left thumb. So those left thumb moves are really the only interesting moves there. Um, the rest of it's very standard. And done fast looks like this. Like so. Now for these last two cases, these are the ones where the misoriented corners are not adjacent. Um, on this one on the left, the U-face stickers are like on opposite faces, right here and here. Whereas on this case on the right, the U-face stickers are on adjacent faces, right here and here. So for this one on the left, again, a number of different ways to do it. The way I like to do it is from this angle, you do R U two prime R prime, U prime, then R U two prime R prime again. So it's just seven moves. So super nice and done fast. Sorry, not very good at turning on this mega mix. Yeah, like that. Anyway, for this last one, again, a number of different ways to do it. The way I prefer to do it is again with F, R, and B R moves, um, and it looks like this: R prime, F with our left index, R, B R prime with our right index, R prime, F prime, R, B R. So some interesting finger tricks there with the pushes with these two fingers. Um, might take a while to get used to, but again, super useful finger tricks. So yeah, like that. And done fast. There you go. Super nice Alex. Um, for those eight move algorithms, those of you who know commutators might have noticed that they are commutators. Um, and I'll write them as commutators here if that helps you. Okay, so these are the last corner orientation cases. Um, we have the last two four corner cases and the only two five corner cases. So these are a little bit harder than the algorithms you've already learned, but still really not that hard. I strongly, strongly urge you to learn them. Don't just spam soon, like some people tend to. Um, once you know the algorithms, you'll be glad that you did. So what are the algorithms? Well, for this one, which looks kind of like pi on 3x3, three three, right? You've got a set of headlights, and then these two facing in opposite directions with this oriented corner opposite the headlights. Um, this is very similar to the headlights all that I just showed you, the two corner case. So we do RUR prime U, RUR prime, the only difference is here we do u prime rather than u two prime, and then we insert with u two prime instead. So it's really u r prime u and then sexy move and then just insert this like that. And exactly the same finger tricks as before. Drag u, double flick here, and done fast. Like that. So for the second case where we have. Um, well, this is the only four corner case without any headlights at all, right? Um, there's kind of two ways of doing it. What I personally do is this algorithm here. R u two prime r prime u two prime r u two r prime u two prime r u prime r prime. So that's what I do, and I find it to be pretty fast. Um, however, if you're not amazing at u two prime double flux. Um, then you might prefer this algorithm here, which I know a lot of fast people do use, so it's not bad, I just don't personally prefer it. Um, so you do it from this angle and do back anti soon, right? Like that, into soon. So done somewhat fast, that looks like this. See, so yeah, I'm not amazing at it, but it's still fast and you might want to try it out. Um, so that's it for the four corner cases. For the five corner cases, we just have these two, which are a bit tricky to recognize at first. The way I personally do it is I see, okay, I've got a set of headlights, and then I've got basically a soon, right? And so I've either got this soon or this like back soon, right? Where they're facing, here they're all facing to the right, and here they're all facing to the left. So that's how I tell them apart. For this one here, we're gonna hold the headlights in the back left, 
and do r u r prime u two r u two prime r prime u r u two prime r prime. It's all just pretty simple finger tricks. Push, double flick, double flick, double flick. Right, and done fast. Looks like that. Now for this final one, we're going to hold the headlights in the back right this time, and do the inverse of the previous hop that I just showed. So R U two R prime U prime R U two R prime U two prime R U prime R prime. And so again, very basic finger tricks, just double flicks, and we don't even have any pushes here. So like that, and done fast. There you go. So that is two look parallel.